Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We're done for now. Aelin. My love. You were dead. I saw your body. I'm here. And and so are you. And my father, the... he can't hurt us any longer. I dreamt every night that you'd come back to me. But somehow it was all a nightmare Dawn would undo. I had no dreams at all. Nothing but darkness. And when I woke, my father said you were dead. His soul was poisoned by the god of death. His sick devotion ruined him. But for all his sins, he brought you back to me. Are you all right? I will be. And you? In this moment, I want for nothing. Aelin. Aelin, this is... Oh, but we have met. This is the soldier that freed me most valiantly from the Shadowfell. They watched my boot crush the very brain of villainy, and fought well against your changed father. May he rest in peace at last, now that he's dead. I have more to thank you for than I knew, and we have much to discuss. Perhaps we could join you in your camp later. He's <laughs> Did I hear you correctly before? You are... Are you Catherine Tom's daughter? I am. And I'm glad he's dead. But this is precisely what I want to speak to you about later. It'll keep. I promise. Fine. Very good. We look forward to it. Now, you will leave us. We must take succor in one another's bodies and words. Aelin! We'll see you later. Something's on my mind. The shadows yet fester. The dead three united under cover of darkness. The balance shifts. There are depths to this alliance yet unplumbed. Consider, mortal. Do illithids possess souls? Hmm. That's an interesting question. I'm not sure. Don't all living things? No. Nor canst thou count mind flares among them. Yet, the three amass an illithid army void of apostolic souls that could imbue them with power. A flock without souls, yet to what end, mortal? This is the question thou must come to answer. Until such time, be availed of my services. I'm surprised to see you. Why are you here? Where matters of balance are concerned, I am eternally called. You seem to know a lot about the dead free. Yes, Bane, Lord of Darkness, Baal, Lord of Murder, Merkel, Lord of Bones. Once judged, ascended, then vanquished. As one, and as three. The Alliance is reforged, mortal. The planes thus quake, and the gods shudder. Isn't there more you can tell me? No. 
Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Unfortunately, we have lots dead. Thaniel rests well. He's healing very rapidly now that Oliver has returned to him. So when will the curse actually be lifted? I can't say for certain, but we'll see it come to pass long before this place recedes behind us. Don't worry. All is at hand. We can depart whenever you're ready. What happened to Oliver exactly? Did Fania absorb him? No more than my right hand can absorb my left. Oliver is helping Thaniel to recover. They both lie dormant, like trees awaiting spring. Once the curse is lifted, they can stand as one or as a pair. Whatever they wish, I hope they will remain as a pair. It will be good for them both to have a friend once I'm gone. Still, I would like to return here someday. See Thaniel and Oliver again. In my meditations, or perhaps in person, if the Oak Father wills it. I hope he does. I'm glad I could help. I knew I could put my faith in you. If only we had met sooner. What now? You've got what you wanted, after all. I have. But perhaps there is more that I want. Anyway. Once the curse is lifted, nature can take its course without me. I belong at your side. I'm glad to have you. This more that you want, what is it? Not what. Who. But all in due course. Okay, let's see. There's still something showing up. I don't know what it is. Travel to Baldur's Gate. Let's see what's left. We found the heart of the Absolute in the bowels of Moonrise Towers, a powerful Elder Brain, controlled by Tendari's crown of incredible power. Gale was not close enough to detonate the orb right. And Grandio Caribbean Guard was infected with Illithid Tadpole. He is being transported to Baldur's Gate along with the enormous Elder Brain. Okay, there's that. If Mu doesn't turn up in Moonrise Towers, she may have escaped on one of them, of the Nautiloids, and made it to the city. But I don't see a thing about Zerglor. Leave blood of Latanta some deep within the Rosum. No. Hmm. Oh, okay. It was supposed to help us find it. We pushed the mine flyers, posing the colonies ever was in one of them. Oh. Okay. One problem at a time. One day I'll catch a break. Really? Mine. Wait. I'm gonna make a killing in the city. Why, yes. Once Althea is done with this song, we will be looking for patrons. All coppers welcome, pal. You're here. Good. That's good. You're all right. Me? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just worried about the kids. Mauler's still missing, and they haven't taken it too well. I've been trying to cheer them up. We're 
writing a song together. But I think they're just humoring me. I'm sure they appreciate it. Oh! Oh, I have an idea! Why don't we play together? Sure, ready when you are. Yes! I've missed this. If you can't keep up, don't take it to heart. Soon. Want to pack and want to so, who do we have here? Harper, Harper. Cannot see the rest. Okay. It's time for us to come. Parasite in his brain, father could wreak untold havoc in the Absolute's name. Should Baldur's Gate fall to the Absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. We're not just fighting for our cure, we're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the Gate. We're fighting for all of Faerun. The, the Absolute's cult has Raven Guard. Where will they take him? Worms Rock Fortress. All travelers to Baldur's Gate flow through it. It serves as headquarters for the Flaming Fist and their commander, my father. The Absolute's armies on the march. Gods forbid a tadpole Grand Duke throw open the gates for them. What do you know about Gortash and Orin? Orin? I'd never heard tell of. But Gortash I know. Or know of, more precisely. A self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers. A bit player with dreams of a leading role, the way Father told it. He had no use for Gortash, and even less for his advice. I don't remember much beyond that. But where these Chosen are concerned, I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like. Hmm, Misar said you can say what led to your pact in exile. It's time I know the full truth. Yes, but first, a question. If your home were under siege, what would you sacrifice to save it? I would give my life if it meant keeping the rest of them safe. As would I. And more. I was 17. Father, older Raven Guard, had just been named a Grand Duke and was called away to Elterel to help settle a dispute. That's when the cult of the dragon made its move. The cult of the dragon, a fractured religion. Some believers hold that undead dragons will inherit the world. Others worship the dragon goddess Tiamat and intend to summon her to Faerun. The cult of the dragon had infiltrated Baldur's Gate. To what end? To conjure the dragon queen and lay waste to Baldur's Gate. A ten day after father left, I heard a whisper as I slept. Dusk Hawk Hill, the queen of chaos awakens. Go alone. I grabbed a rapier and set out. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, yet not a single star was shining. There they were, gathered at the foot of the hill. Your head tingles. Will wants to show you what happened. In the looming shadow of the mount, five groups of five figures each encircle a lofty totem. Atop each totem, a dragon's head is carved. 
the massive orb held in its mouth. The cultists chant, first softly, then crying to the starless sky. There is a crack of thunder, a gust of wind, and a dragon's white head appears in the storm. As the maelstrom howls, Mizora's lips press to your ear. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. Grant me your soul and I will give you the power to save it, she whispers. She read the terms while two devils stood witness. And I said yes. One soul for one city. Surely Mizura doesn't care about Baldur's Gate. Why would she want to save it? She didn't. She came on order of her mistress, Zariel. Tiamat made a play for power. Zariel had other plans. That was the most Mizora's ever said. All that mattered was that she got her prize. Another pet added to her warlock menagerie. Hmm. Sacrificing your soul to save the city was a stupid thing to do, not brave. And what about your father, the Grand Duke? He returned to an unsuspecting city and a wayward son with a smirking devil at his side. I tried to tell him the truth, but my mouth couldn't form the words. I'd led him to the battlefield, but Mazora had swept it clean. After, he said only one word. Go. So I did. You took on 25 cultists on your own. I find it hard to believe. I had Mazora at my side, and the Archdevil Zariel guided our hands that day. I burned with the fires of Avernus and oozed the rot of Dis. The cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. And when we were done, all that remained were five grayed orbs atop a pile of ash. My soul was bound, and my lips were sealed. Is that how you lost your eye in the battle of the Cult of the Dragon? It is. The one scar I ever bore of it. Mizora replaced it with a sending stone. She uses it to track my location and speak from a distance. I could flee to the spine of the world, or the depths of the lower dark and still never shake her. It was brave, what you did for the city. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. It was stupid. We'll return to the subject later. I understand. You must have been furious at your father for throwing you out of the city. No, never. He did the only thing he could. In his eyes, I invited a devil into our midst. I was a fool at best, a traitor at worst, and Grand Duke Ravenguard suffers neither. Hmm. Hmm. I suppose I can blame him. For all he knew, he would spr sprout horns in a second. <laughs> and I went and proved him right. A Grand Duke's duty is to his city, first and foremost. There would only ever be one outcome. I wish we could stay and see what this place will be like without the shadows. I bet it's beautiful. No rest for the wicked, huh? Tell me more about your relationship with Cortage. He got his claws into me early. I was a wild kid, brawling my way through the city. One of my mates got wind of a bit of work, guarding some indoorsy type with lots of enemies. Seemed like easy money, so I went in for it. He took one look at me and said I was perfect. I like that. Not like that, you know. Just, it felt like a good fit. I kept him safe and he paid me well. Well enough to move my folks into a better neighborhood and put something away for the future. My future. I respected him. Trusted him. 
And he returned that trust, that respect. His life was in my hands, and I took that seriously. The whole thing with Zauriel happened so fast. I had no idea what had gone down until it was over. One minute I was in Baldur's Gate, a happy, healthy, not quite kid. The next, I was burning up in Avernus with an engine for a heart. Zariel laughed, said she paid him well for my services. She'd wanted to test her new machine, and he said I'd be able to handle it. He was right. Sometimes I wish he weren't. Evil. Evil bastard. You did it. Catherick Thorm is no more. The shadow's grip is broken. Soon, the land shall heal. I'm glad I could help. Not as glad as I am. Nature moves at its own pace. And bestows its bounty when it sees fit. Give it time. A reward shall come to you. When you need it most. I guess I can take care of myself. I mean, I've gotten this far. <laughs> Your world of just fine. I think we've done rather a good thing here. A welcome change to give this land a sliver of hope amongst so much despair. Hmm. I thought he would comment that he weren't there to detonate himself. The curse is broken and the shadows are lifting. In time, these lands will heal. Okay. The shadows are losing their grip on these lands. Shah can indeed be thwarted. Comforting to know. Hmm. I never saw myself as a banisher of shadows before. <laughs> I was always more of a lurker in, historically. Don't let that get to your head. What do you intend to do about Cassidy's ritual? Before anything else, I need to know where it's happening. Uh, to the public, Cassidy is an ordinary noble, a little reclusive perhaps, but just another of the great and the good of Baldur's Gate. He has a grand palace on the hills of the gate, where he hosts the city's high society. I don't know if he performed the ritual there. It feels too public. It risk exposure. Hmm. The giant gothic monstrosity has been inhabited by vampires this whole time. I know. Subtle, isn't it? Hmm. Raphael is playing a dangerous game, giving you Mephistopheles' secrets. Mephistopheles is one of the lords of the Nine Hells. Raphael is not going to let any ire be tracked back to him. Perhaps Raphael even will gain from setting us on this course, who can say? All I know is I need to unravel the secrets around Cazador's ritual. And I can only do that in Baldur's Gate. We all did it. I can't believe it. I can't believe Aelin is here. And my father. I heard what happened. He'd become by killing him. You set him free. You set Aelin free. And me. I feel there's a great deal you haven't told me. Not on purpose. Or not with the intent to deceive. I've been trying to make sense of it all. Catherick Thorm is. was. my father. He raised me to serve Saluna as my mother, rest her soul, had wished. He was everything to me, all my life. When an emissary of Saluna came to our little town, 
We were elated. Dame Aelin, daughter of the Moon Maiden herself. Tell me, do you believe in love at first sight? Love? Uh, last? Or leak? This was different. It was like I could see my fate in her eyes. Lucky for me, she felt the same way. But my father was skeptical. Aelin is immortal, after all. I understand it's strange. There's an imbalance between us, certainly. But I suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. It was natural. Then... And this is where I still need answers. I died. I'm not sure how or why, but all was black, black, black. Next I knew I was being jolted awake. I smelled musty air, I saw shadows. And then my father's face. So changed. So hideously warped. You had become the Chosen of Merkel. I didn't know that then. But I could see the change in him. He told me we'd be together now. Said that Aelin was dead. I couldn't speak. Could only run. I found last light within the shadows. Made a shelter there. Prayed my father wouldn't find me. By the time Jahira came, I'd pieced together just enough to know I'd been dead a hundred years. That my father was the source of the horrors plaguing this land. My home. I couldn't tell her who I was. I had to protect them. And myself. No matter what. Understandable. It's all out in the open now. And with my father dead, I have nothing to fear. Except for Aelin. She needs healing. Rest. I'm grateful for your help. Your friendship. I hope we won't intrude on your hospitality too long. But I'm grateful for a safe place to... Well... Just to be. Why can't you go to last night? There you are. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. Come closer. I don't want to. What is it? Feel my voice rattle your bones as I proclaim our victory. Moon Maiden Saluna, hear me. Ketherick Thorm, traitor, apostle of Merkel, is dead at last. My mate, Most High. Darling Isabel is safe and well. Safe and well and return to my embrace. Blessings upon the slayer of the wicked one. I would have taken gold of our prayer. Gold can buy you baubles. A prayer to the moon maiden buys you eternity. My darling Isabel says we will stay allied at your side. I am pleased to hear it. There's still a great deal about you to know. Pray, ask, and I will tell. Are you really someone's daughter? Do I not radiate with my mother's brightness, her glory? There can be no doubt. I am of her silvered flesh, her celestial womb. Okay. Uh, how did you come to be trapped in the Shadowfell? <sighs> Ketherick Thorn, father of my one and only love, enslaver of Dame Aelin. <laughs> Ketherick Thorn never did trust me, even when he worshipped the Moon Maiden. He was threatened by my love for Isabel, by her love for me. When she died, curse the day, the hour, we each of us mourned bitterly. But Ketherick's pain could be touched by no aid, no boundary. He turned to wretched Shah, the Lady of Loss, for relief. And she whispered into his ear, poisoning his mind. He and his loathsome advisor, Balthazar, lured me into the Shadowfell. Claimed they'd found someone in need of my aid. There, they trapped me in their infernal cage. I was killed, murdered, made dead over and over and over by justicias of every make and kind. I was reborn, for it is my nature. 
and Ketherick fed upon my immortality all the while. But lo, the brute is dead, and we, we live! Would your mother be willing to aid us in the fight against the dead freak? Why, she already has. She has brought her sword to your side, Dame Aelin. So mighty are her wonders, her great wisdom. Together, we will set this fair land free of tyranny and murder. Okay. Oh, well. Not like, not that I had to save your bad. Okay, let's rest. No, I just find it fitting to just go to rest after all we've been through. Yes, this way. We finally can walk out of the Moonrise Tower. Absolute alive, thanks to you. You did well to defeat Ketherick, but Ketherick was only the first to fall. There are many more battles ahead, and they will not be so easily won. You will need allies. I know, that's why I just recruited Halsin. Halsin's strength and loyalty will bolster you in times of need. But if we are to succeed, we will need others. Will there be anyone left when we arrive in the city? Even if the buildings are demolished, there are always survivors. There are always those who will fight. Baldur's Gate may not know it yet, but its fate is bound to ours. Seek on its streets those whose purpose aligns with our own, and invite them to our cause. Together, we will put an end to the Absolute, the Chosen, all. I swear, if the road it... The to Baldur's Gate is west of the town. If we hurry, we'll arrive before the Absolute's forces. I swear, if it were a movie, the credits would roll right now. <laughs> this the pacing is just so amazing. Where? Oh, okay, we can just. At least the shadow curse is banished. I like the dark, but not when it's trying to kill me. Hmm. Right. Um. Can I do something about this? Uh, no, I think I had it. Items? Give me what I need to find it. Okay, I'll be right back. I it was somewhere here, I swear. <laughs> we are back. I found it. I need to have to get it equipped. Finally! Been trapped in that coffin with no one but a mad rider and my own farts for company. 
Did me a good turn there, didn't you? What do I owe you? Hmm, what's an offer? Honey, I'll shake your world, that's for sure. Here, give this bell a shake. Speak the magic words and you'll get what you've earned. Protection from the shadow curse. What oh. more could a dingus want? Cool. You're welcome. Oh, well. Something good here, I hope. The absolute armies are on the march. And Baldur's Gate is their target. We need to get, we need to get there fast. Do I have any new sense I need to... Yeah, I think we're fine. Oh, we are camping again. Oh, well. Anyone wants to speak? Hello, my dear. There's that again. I wonder how the... Mm. Hello. The thing that will decide my fate forevermore. Yes, it's been on my mind. Oh, sorry. Why? <laughs> sorry. Oh, I, I just want to know what your intentions are. Well, in theory, it's simple. Destroy Casador, stop ritual. That's assuming we want to stop the ritual. What? I've obviously thought about it. If I was the one who completed the ritual, I'd have such power. And I could walk in the sun without fear I'd turn into a mind flare. Naturally, who wouldn't be tempted? Of course, I don't even know if I could complete the ritual. It may be impossible, but it certainly is tempting. Need something of I don't know. Do you need to tell me something? No. Okay. Um. We must press forward. Let's deal with Kethrick, then find Voss in Baldur's Gate. Okay. The shadows are lifted. Finally, we can breathe free. I'm just checking. What's on your mind? I'm worried about what Damon said about your engine. We need to get you back to Avernus or it's going to blow. Listen, I'm never going back. If you said I could die right now or live a thousand years in the hells, I'd choose to go out now with my freedom intact. I don't expect anyone to understand that. But I've been dealt a hand most people don't have to contemplate playing. But I want you to live. I want to live too. But not under any circumstances. I have the power to choose now. And I'm going to make that choice. Myself. But... I don't want to talk about this now. I've been given a huge gift. I can touch the people I love for the first time in a decade. And for the first time in a decade, there are people I care about all around me. Let me enjoy that. Please. All right, all right, I'll leave it alone. Thanks, soldier. I just want to celebrate this. At least for a little. I'm sorry. It might be best kept until later. I'd be a poor counsel and worse company just now. Okay. Anyone else? Oh. Yeesh. <laughs> I didn't expect 
didn't expect to actually tag along. Where's Halsen? What do you know about me? You spoke of my past. Being chased by wolves. I told no one about that. Almost no one. But I certainly didn't share that with you. There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard. Chiseled away any part of you that did not fit their plan. They made you forget. I chose to do that. For the mission to protect Shaz... Secrets. Yes, yes, that is an old song, girl. Your goddess cares more for her precious secrets than she does her devotees. Get to the point. When you freed me, you severed a bond between me and that dog, Thorm. A bond of pain. His, inflicted on me. When I laid eyes on you, I sensed a similar bond. You, tethered to two others. Someplace distant. Let me help you remember. You feel Shadowheart's mind tug at the edges of your own. You know this sensation. She wants you to see whatever is about to be revealed. Okay. Your mind joins with Shadow Hearts. Something pulls at you both, bringing you elsewhere. children out in the wilds and force them to find their way home it seems that one child never came back she was taken what who was that man you already know did you not see yourself in him do you not recognize your own blood my father that was him that is him he lives still. And your mother, too. No. It can't be. I'm an orphan. And who told you that? Your adoptive family? You are not to blame. You were young. Impressionable. They took you because they wanted to break and remake you. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman. One who knows what must be done. My parents... I need to save them. Does this mean you're a cell knight? I... I don't know. Your parents both followed the Moon Maiden. I could sense their faith, even in a brief glimpse of the past. It is a tragedy that the Moon Maiden's right was perverted by Shah. Your future was stolen from you. I'll help. Your parents are with your abductors. You will need to return to their lair. But be warned. You may have once thought of them as comrades, mentors, friends, even lovers. They will all be enemies now. You have been forewarned for what is to come. But not yet forearmed. Of night. I thought that was cast into Shadowfell. I was able to retrieve it before it sank too far into Shah's umbral domain. Shah is quick to discard whatever she has no use for. I think you know that well enough. But I felt it call to me as I took flight. Whatever Shah calls her own, Saluna has equal claim to. They are one and the same. Their power is matched and mirrored. Take it. You will find it useful. What you do with it, that will be up to you. 
Same as before. I'll need every advantage, it seems. Thank you. A debt repaid. You returned my life unto me. Now go and claim your own. <sighs> it hurts. Shah torments you still. What a spiteful creature she is. This will not stop until you take action. See that your parents' sacrifices are not in vain. Allow the Moon Maiden to guide you at last. Hmm. Do I have it on me? Of course. I mean, what you gave her already is better. Hmm. Why do they do this? Okay, can I go to sleep now? Ross Halsen, where is he gone? I'm going to sleep under the tree. gullible enough to just believe it my parents are alive and I have to save them I think a part of me always knew that a part that Shah denied to me the, you've been forced to live a lie at least now the truth is starting to reveal itself indeed but the truth may yet prove painful who knows what Shah still keeps from me. We'd better press on for now, and hope we're ready when the moment comes. But before that, there's one thing I need to see to. And what's up? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Just leave it with me. Okay. Um, anyone else? No, okay. We're leaving. The curse has been lifted. The land's cleansed of the shadows. Catherick's reign of living death is over. Your courage has been tested, and in this, at least, you have triumphed. Sergeant, if you are here, I presume Worms Rock is secure. And preparations for my inauguration are complete. No, Lord Gortash. We were interrupted. Another quake in the lower city. More severe this time. So you came cowering to my chambers? I'm flattered, Sergeant. But even I cannot command natural phenomena to cease. Forgive me, my lord. But there is panic in the streets. The people are afraid. Perhaps the people would be calm if you kept your nerve. I expect better from the flaming fist than to run scared from a slight tremor in the earth. Get back to your duties. Duties, duties, duties. Patrolling and saluting and following and bowing and scraping. Yes, sir. No, sir. Rip and cut your throat, sir. 
Your plan is falling apart, Lordling. Give me a reason not to cut you to ribbons. Control yourself, Orin. We need to focus on reuniting the stones or the brain will break free. These quakes are just the start. Neither of us expected the prison bearers to kill Ketherick. They'll be traveling to the city. Let's make sure we give them a Baldurian welcome. I itch to peel you. To split your skin. To see your skull shine in the light. Little tyrant. <sighs> Lucky for you, I harvested a whole family of living flesh in Rivington at High Sun. They will sate my blade thirst tonight. Oh, but tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, my blades will thirst again. Gods, I could sleep for a hundred years. Looks safe enough for a night, I reckon. Beyond the campsite, the city waits in uneasy silence, one sleep away. And once again, <laughs> we're at the camp. She'd mind my step. What's that sound? Candles, but inside. Source of the sounds, not that okay. But it's just night sounds. Oh, feeling better. he's back. <gasps> Little one. Oh, Gail. Okay, let's talk with Gail first. I wish it would show up on the minimap. The exclamation point. Exclamation marks. The absolute should be a thing of the past, and I with it. Yet, at the risk of angering Mr. Fervor, I'm glad it didn't come to that, given what has come to light. Hmm, what are you talking about? The Elder Brain. But, more importantly, the crown that it wore. Even without seeing it for myself, I could sense it. Netherese magic. So pure, so complete. I doubted what I was feeling at first. Most Netherese artifacts contain only the faintest amount of their former power. The ghost of an echo of a memory. That crown was different. I can't fathom how such a wonder survived. Surely everything of its ilk was destroyed along with Netheril itself, but... No matter. It exists. I must learn more of it. Well, a couple of them. Why is this crown so important all of a sudden? That crown sits on our gargantuan elder brain yeah. bent on destroying us and everything we hold dear. Understanding its true nature 
might unlock the means of our victory. We need to learn more about what we saw. An artifact as powerful as that crown must have been documented somewhere. As luck would have it, we'll soon find ourselves near one of the finest book collections this side of Candlekeep. Sorcerer's Sundries. I need to go there and learn all I can. I would probably a magic shop be the first place we look. Ha! Sorcerer's Sundries is no mere trading post. It's been serving the arcane community for centuries. Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. <laughs> Nethery texts are hardly commonplace, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems. Okay, um... Do I have speaking followers? We'll be right. You smell very delicious, but I will not bite you. Oh, we'll be right in the city. Almost like my nails. Almost like your painful truths have been thrust upon Shadowheart. I believe she is strong enough to endure, but her path will be easier with our support. Hmm. Okay, by the way, um Kalak, I think you deserve to rest. Poor Shadowheart. She's been jerked around so much. I want to believe the gods keep this world balanced, but sometimes... Sometimes I wonder. That's why I want you to stay with her. Really? Really, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, fine. I'll be here eating dirt or whatever. And where is she? Looking for them around the camp. It's really bothersome sometimes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where's Will? I wasn't expecting it, but I'm glad to have some company on this journey. Great. Wait here. If you're sure. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. Really the worst will Oak Father preserve you. Uh, and you by my side. Then you'll have me. Lead on. Okay. And Gail. You're also coming with us. Gail, Will isn't here. At least Shadowheart is armed with the truth now. May its keen edge draw forth whatever vengeance she desires. With pleasure. Lead on. Okay, yeah, let's level you guys up. Hmm, new shape. Shape of Tiger. Oh, for you. Mobile, maybe? Okay, cool. Spells. Yeah. I'll get mask your wounds instead. Okay, good elemental. If I can have multiple summons, then it will be amazing. Charmed, I'm sure. Mm. 
food do you need? Ooh. Mm. Hmm. Can't just pull, definitely. And Gorsi's form. I like this spell. Management is useful and maybe conjuring elemental as well. Light and maybe Ice Storm. Oh, Ice Storm is great. Object up to 80 meters, yes, of course. My pleasure, not you. Still alive, so that's progress. At the ready, okay. It's time to Let's sleep. See what this does. This, hmm. this. Used to sleep. The events of the last days weigh heavily upon you. Sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. The Absolute is not a god, but an elder brain controlled by the Chosen of the Dead Three. They mean to use it to take control of the Sword Coast. All who carry the Tadpole are governed by the brain and by extension the Chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of mind flayers. This would have been your fate too, were it not for the astral prison and the mysterious visitor inside of it. With his help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Together, you have the power to thwart the dead three. If you follow this path to its end, the Elder Brain will not answer to the Chosen. It will answer to you. Will you liberate them from their parasites and their religious delusions? Or will you use the power you gain for your own purposes? When the moment comes, I'll do what feels right. You will not have long to wait. All you need to do now is sleep. But sleep is not for you. Hear me. <laughs> the reckoning is upon us. The city thirsts for domination. March. Joy. Me. Escape to the portal before the absolute takes control of this portal. Okay. No escape. I need your help. Red, red. 
need movement for that. Oh, that makes sense. Die, you lifted harbor off. What do you have? How much will that do? What team? Okay, I understood that wrong. Um. I'm trying. Um That's not one. Swift as my feet can carry me. Oops, we don't have enough. Explode. I speak from some experience. I won't work on her. What? Why it didn't work? Um. Step. 
course it hit her from three. It's the four. Friend. It will be cleansed. My life is hot well. The boring opponent. to save you a uh, quick healing. I can't hold them back alone. Okay, the game said that's all. On some. Come to the skull. I'm trying. I wonder if the gods are watching me. What do you need me to do? The honor guard. Eliminate them. My forces are weakened by their assault. But with your help, we can turn this around. Destroy the guard. I will subdue their master. Okay. Together. But right now I'm gonna end this part here. So no thank you very much. So like and see you soon. Bye.